Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be diving into the August Boxy Charm. And spoiler alert, it's actually a really good one. Um, so the first thing in this box is the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. Um, now I'm down to only one. Um, there were actually three that came in this box. So the pamphlet says, these gold foil under eye masks brighten, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of dark circles. The hyaluronic acid diminishes the appearance of wrinkles while aloe leaf extracts and lavender oil cool and soothe your under eye area. So you pull them out of the package, apply them to your under eyes, let them sit for about 20 minutes, and then once you peel them off, then you take your fingers and just kind of rub the extra serum around your eyes. Um, what I noticed is not only is the eye area really moisturized, but it really does kind of feel tight and it stays that way for quite a while. Um, in fact, when I use these at night, when I wake up in the morning, my eyes still feel like a little tacky. Like you can still actually feel the product on your skin. So I guess it doesn't really sink into the skin um, the way the other eye creams do. And in fact, I did do this in the morning once and then I wore makeup over top of it and the makeup didn't really seem to sit that well. It did kind of break up. So for me, they're definitely a nighttime product. Um, now also, there is enough juice inside of one of these packets that you can use the leftover serum that's inside of this packet for probably five or six uses. So if you wanna do that as like a nighttime treatment all the way around your eyes, um, I just kind of squeeze out the excess out of the packet onto my finger, rub it around my entire eye area, and then go to sleep. But the skin around my eyes definitely feels more moisturized and it definitely feels a little bit more like tight and lifted. So I'm a big fan of these and I definitely will be repurchasing these masks. And the next product in this month's box is the Adesse New York Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil. Um, now, I'm a big fan of cuticle oil. I'm a big fan of lotion. I'm a big fan of moisturizing in general. I'm a hairstylist, and so my hands are always in water, styling products, hair, like all day, every day. So I feel like my hands just need a lot of care, especially in the winter months. Um, it's really dry and really cold in Northeast Ohio. So I definitely go through quite a bit of cuticle oil. When I read Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil, I got kind of excited because I'm like, oh, this is gonna be another one that smells really good. Um, because my favorite one right now is the CND Solar Oil. And if you guys have ever used this or if you've ever smelled this one, Ah, it's so good. It smells like those, uh, it smells like those Christmas cookies that are like almondy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, this definitely has like a really sweet, like really warm kind of smell to it. The CND one that is. Um, but the Ades cuticle oil definitely, it's a very light, a very faint scent to it, but it definitely... It definitely smells like grandma. Um, I don't like the smell of this one at all. The cuticle oil is cuticle oil. It all kind of does the same thing anyway. Um, but what I have noticed is, especially when it comes to the scent, is that with the CND one, when I use this on my cuticles, my dogs go crazy and they want to lick my fingers. They think it smells so good. But I've noticed that when I use this one, the dogs don't come anywhere near my hands. They don't want to lick it off at all. So even the dogs don't think that this smells good and they eat poop. So next up, we have this Bang Beauty Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. Um, I feel like every month in the BoxyCharm, there is a brand that I've never heard of before, and I've never heard of Bang Beauty. But I can't actually imagine using this as an eyeliner because it's just such a very, very light color. It's actually very similar in color and texture to the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Quite Natural. Um, and so if anything, I'll just kind of use this in the same way that I would use that one, more as like an eyeshadow base than an actual eyeliner. Um, so it's not going in the purge pile. I'm definitely going to give this one a few tries. So far, so good. Nothing in the purge pile yet. Um, and now we have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette. Um, and this is one that I was actually really excited to get this month. I feel like there's this trend right now where every eyeshadow palette that's coming out are these really bright, colorful eyeshadow palettes. But since every company just keeps coming out with more and more neutrals and definitely warm neutral palettes, the internet is over. For it. Nobody wants another boring neutral or like neutral warm eyeshadow palette. So the makeup companies listened and they have all started releasing palettes that look like a circus, which I'm a fan of. I feel like if companies could take colors like this and perfect the formula and make them workable and make them usable, then I don't know. Maybe people would incorporate these kind of colors into their kind of daily, maybe not daily, but then maybe people would incorporate these kind of colors into their looks a little bit more often. 
And I have heard a few people say that the formula of this palette wasn't very good or they weren't able to use it or it was chalky or it was patchy or what have you. Um, but I have to say that I've used this a few times now. Um, I didn't find there to be any patchiness. I found all of the shades to be really workable. And I think at this point now, I have used all six colors in this palette. I've created two different looks with it. Um, and I thought it worked out really well. So this is just a six pan palette and all of the colors are bright. So you're not going to have a transition shade. You're not going to have like a dark or like a black or anything like that to really add depth or dimension to your look. So you are going to have to incorporate other palettes or single shadows into a look um, or else you're only going to be able to create something like I'm wearing right now. Um, there's nothing to add any depth and there's not really anything to be like a transition color. So like today I used the orange shadow on top for my transition and I use the pink underneath uh, but this really is just like a bright eyeshadow palette that's gonna give you a pretty good color payoff. Um, I haven't had any problems with like creasing, patchiness, anything like that. So far, it's been a pretty good, rich, colorful palette. I mean, if anything, maybe I would have traded out one of these two blues for a different color, um, but I've created two looks with it so far and I've been a pretty big fan of both. So I don't know, I like it. Okay, so next we've got a pair of lashes from House of Lashes. Um, I got mine in the style Bombshell and I have to say, that these look really fucking cheap. On the back of it, it says, handcrafted to perfection using 100% premium human hair or synthetic hair blends. Um, I think that I definitely got the synthetic hair here. Um, in fact, I think I've just got straight up plastic eyelashes. And how much do these retail for? Um, $9 to $12. Okay, so they're not expensive by any means. So, okay, maybe I'm being a little too harsh. I guess you're getting what you pay for. Um, but I'm really into, let's see, let me do a comparison. I really like the velour lashes, the ones that are really fluffy and really wispy. And then if you look at these compared to them, they just, again, these just look super cheap definitely going in the purge pile. Um, but I mean, that's the first thing we put in the purge pile so far. So again, I think we're doing okay. And then the last thing that we've got in this month's box is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Power on Matte. Um, and what I have to say about this one is when I first pulled it out of the box and I first opened it up, I'm like, oh God, a red lipstick. I'm never going to wear this. But it's definitely not like your standard red. It's definitely more of like a coral orange color and I think with the eyeshadow colors that I have on today I think it all works really well together but I definitely like the formula of this one and again I'm really surprised by how much I love the color all right, so that is this month's BoxyCharm. Um, next month, they're doing that thing where they have like the big BoxyCharm. I think it's like uh, double the price and you get double the product. So what do you guys think? Should I do the big box or should I keep it at the regular size? Um, let me know down below um, so I can make my choice accordingly and then we'll get that video up next month. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.